All right, now let's get an update on the coronavirus in Hampton Roads. So far, still no significant reason to worry. Yeah, there are still no cases in Virginia and now two in North Carolina. One of the North Carolina patients is in the Raleigh area. The second patient is in Chatham County. In Virginia, the Department of Health has tested more than 30 people. 21 are cleared and at least nine are waiting on their results. And remember, the risk of COVID-19 is still relatively low, especially compared to something like the flu. Well, the Hampton VA hospital is being proactive. You'll now be screened for coronavirus before you can walk inside. 13 News Now reporter Evan Watson is live in Hampton with more. Evan. VA Medical Center employees are screening patients and visitors for coronavirus symptoms at now limited entrances. Honor Lotzi didn't show up to the VA hospital today with a mask on, but she left with one. They gave me a mask when I got there. Medical Center employees took extra precautions with her. And because I'm having some flu like symptoms, they kind of kept me like for a few extra minutes to like further screen me. And then I guess they determined that I don't have coronavirus. <laughs> the masks are just a visible reminder of how unique it is to be screening every patient for coronavirus symptoms. Man, if you cough it, man, they want, they want to try to get you a mask in here, man. It's, it's like we in a movie or something. The screening questions include, do you have a fever, cough or flu like symptoms? Where have you traveled recently? And of course, have you been in contact with anyone with confirmed coronavirus disease? It's a very proactive step they're taking just to make sure that we keep things under control here. Don't let things get out of hand, stay in front of it. There are still no confirmed cases of coronavirus in Virginia. Kevin Knox says the screens can be a little annoying. Plus, if you leave, you'll have to get screened again and some visiting hours are limited. It does seem like overkill. Um, yeah, it really does. It does seem like overkill. And you know, a lot of people, a lot of people in there, they, they irritated about it. But, you know, it's just something we got to go through right now. But medical center leadership says it's necessary to take these extra steps, saying the VA needs to mitigate risk. There's an isolation protocol in the case of a concerning screen. It's positive that way um, people, they, they can take better precautions for other people p passing it if somebody does have it. In Hampton, Evan Watson, 13 News Now. We keep telling you we are dedicated to only bringing you the facts on the coronavirus. Tonight, the World Health Organization is verifying some of the claims going around right now. One of them asks if taking a really hot bath is going to prevent the virus. According to the WHO, WHO, this won't work. Your normal body temperature stays the same no matter the temperature of the bath or a shower. And this could be actually be dangerous if you make the water too hot and burn yourself. OK, on to the next one. Can the virus be spread through mosquitoes? No evidence right now suggesting that this is a respiratory virus which spreads through coughs or sneezes. And finally, this can spraying alcohol or chlorine all over your body kill the virus? No, spraying these chemicals on yourself will not kill viruses that have already entered your body. Both alcohol and chlorine can be useful to disinfect surfaces. But when we say alcohol, we don't mean your favorite liquor. We mean rubbing alcohol.